What is going on, y'all? It's your man Dre here today, and in front of me it is my corn, and it's time to break this corn down and show y'all. Come on in real quick, let me show y'all real quick. So as you can see here, my female corn is finally starting to develop, and at the very top of the corn here, these are called the silks. Not like the meeting in my bedroom silk, like the silks, you know? These are the female part of the corn. Come up to the top here. This entire part right here, here, this is the male part. And these little individual pieces right here, these are called anthers. And these little anthers right here hold pollen. All these anthers right here, these are pollen sacs. So what I'm gonna do here to increase my chance of successfully getting a whole ear of corn, I'm gonna, oh, you saw the pollen? You wanna take your time as slowly as possible. I'm gonna show you in a second. I have pollen all over my hand, like, look at that. Take your time and you just wanna come down and you wanna drag the pollen across the silks. The cool thing is you don't have to touch a certain part of the silk. You can literally touch any piece of the silk and it will pollinate. And this pretty much just increase the chance because each silk itself is connected to a kernel. So you want to make sure it is fully pollinated here. So I'm just going to take my time and go back and forth for two few strokes. If you learn anything new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn notifications on and thank you for watching. We will continue to learn as we grow. And this is how to hand pollinate your corn for a higher chance of success. Oh, and real quick before we end the video with these silks right here, you get your higher success chance within the first 10 days. After the first 10 days, the chance of your pollinating the corn is gonna die dramatically. So make sure you wanna get those silks pollinated within the first 10 days.